Fry is a um, sort of a disgruntled New Yorker. Uh, he's a delivery boy. He's kind of fed up with his life. He's got like nothing left and nothing left to lose type of thing. And he becomes cryogenically frozen uh, while delivering a pizza. And he is uh, thought out and assimilated into New New York, which is uh, a couple thousand years down the road. And he has no idea which end is up. On Futurama, I do the voice of Fry, Professor Farnsworth, who's sort of like one of these kind of guys, uh, you know, befuddled. And uh, Dr. Seidenberg, who is a lobster, an over-evolved lobster. I usually like to do uh, the voices right as you go, like one character after the other, because that way you, you, you're coming off of your acting from the other character. Sometimes when... Uh, you go through the whole script as one character, and then you go back and do the whole script with another character. You forget what you're playing off of. So, um, and I think, I think that there's, they don't have to sift through six million takes to, to put stuff together. But I mean, they probably have to do that anyway, because uh, cause there's so much good stuff going on, they gotta choose a lot of stuff. I think uh, your job is to not be afraid of anything, you know, to come in there and just like throw a bunch of stuff out and uh, and and let the directors and the editors choose what they're looking for. Because uh, sometimes you'll throw in so something so goofball, and and you know, like in your heart of hearts, you'll know that oh, they'll never go for this, and then they'll go, where did that come from? You know, let's use it. I kind of idolize Matt from afar, you know, because I was working on uh, Ren and Stimpy, and uh, The Simpsons was kicking butt, and uh, never met him, and then finally got a chance to read for him and, and uh, try some different stuff. And, uh, I mean, I was always a huge fan of his work, and I read the cartoon strip Life in Hell every week, you know, in the L.A. Weekly, and, you know, just get such a kick out of his work. 